Hey everybody, Pumpkin here. Today I wanted to show you how a tech card such as Erden, uh, no matter the deck you're playing it in, can be very, very, very strong in the current meta. Uh, if you've been playing Gwent the past couple days, you'll have noticed that there's a lot of Golden Froth on the ladder. Golden Froth is the ability to boost all units on a row by plus two. I will bring it up in a sec. Golden Froth, here you are. Uh, boost all units on a row by two. So generally what your opponent will try to do is they'll try to swarm the board with cards like uh, Germain, which spawns uh, cows on to the left and to the right, five units total. Uh, swarm the board and start playing Golden Froths for roughly 18 points, and then they can replay it with cards like Germain. Uh, basically, tons of points, tons of boosted points. So you have a card like Gerald Erden, which restores all units on a row to their base power. Uh, if they play one, two, even three frosts on a row, and you you earn in them, well, the game ends on the spot. Uh, it, you 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 could do things like Gigni or Scorch, but Erden is much easier and doesn't take a lot of setup. So cards like Gigni or Scorch are good in Ethne because you can line up units if they try to offset them. Whereas Erden Erden doesn't care. Uh, Erden just smashes the entire row and resets it. Um, the game I'm going to bring you today. I am running him in a monster deck that Panda has made. Uh, I'll run through the list super, super quickly. Woodland Spirit, high points, proactive, eight points in round three. Old Spirit Tip, big body, allows you to eat it with cards like Ghoul and Azrael. Erden, we just went over. Weaves Incantation, melee consume a unit in your hand and draw a card. Uh, basically, this allows you to play around cards like uh, Xavier Lemons in round three, if your opponent smashes your graveyard out, you can consume a card and repopulate your graveyard again. Very strong card. Uh, it also makes it so that cards like Ghoul aren't bricked in round one. ADC, very good to get out your large cards such as Spear Tip, Goliath, or other Spear Tip. Goliath and Old Spear Tip, two more large bodies for your Ghouls and Azrael. Azrael and Ghoul consume a unit from your graveyard. Azrael has the ability to consume from your opponent's graveyard. Uh, Wild Hunt Rider. It's four strength. It pulls out the other Wild Hunt Rider. Good for thinning. Nice proactive play. Alpha Werewolf, five strength. Immune Thrive, very good in control matchups because of the immunity. Uh, do note, if you have an Alpha Werewolf on the board at five strength and then you play Forktail, which says damage to all other units by one, um, it will damage the Werewolf and then boost it. So if you have an Alpha Werewolf and a Forktail, uh, your Werewolf won't take any damage. Uh, Forktail does one damage to all other units. Very, very strong card. Works very well with Thrive units because it'll damage the Thrive units down by one and then boost it back up again. Uh, and also works very well with Ancient Foglet. Ancient Foglet is one strength. When it dies, uh, summons a unit from a graveyard, same row, and it boosts by four. So it's five strength when it gets rezzed. Uh, you play Ancient Foglet and you smash Forktail and you get a five on the board. Very strong. Drowner, Thrive. Damage an enemy by two, move it to the other row. Uh, it's a small amount of damage and it has the word thrive on it cool you can use it to kill uh kill abilities like smugglers move them out of the melee row so that they no longer get their effect necker warrior thrive card good werewolf four points immune very strong against control this good card ancient foglet we went over neckers uh it's two one drops that have thrive on them whatever you do don't play neckers and then play forktail you will kill the neckers so you have to make sure that the neckers are at least at two strength um, good card, good opener, bad against Athne, but that's about it. Arch Spores, uh, one deals two, Death Wish deal two again. It has Thrive. So a, a lot of the bronzes all have Thrive, which is good. You play them early, you're, you're early, like your first couple turns are pretty bad, but it doesn't matter because in Nuke went, your first couple turns don't really matter. Uh, and then you can start playing more explosive cards, and then these basically end up being engines. General game plan, try to win round one, always. Always try to win round one. So mulligans, I almost always mulligan like Azrael and Ghouls out of my hand because you're not playing them in round one unless you have a Weaves Incantation in your hand. Um, don't have two Wild Hunt Riders in your hand. Round two, after, assuming you win round one, uh, you're going to bleed. I usually open with a Ghoul instantly I'm, unless I'm scared of Epidemic or, yeah, Epidemic against Ethne. Bleed round two pretty hard. Don't use Woodland Spirit until round three if you can, because generally your Woodland Spirit plus your top deck will beat your opponents, assuming you top deck like a Ghoul or an Azrael. Uh, so play for that. I, I almost always go for two O's with this deck. You'd be very surprised. Uh, if you're playing against a control deck and they blew Scorch in round one, you can almost always two O them. Uh, I've beat Squiatel. Squiatel is, 
if Squirtle doesn't win round one, it's really bad. Because you bleed them out. Squirtle control has no points in round two. Because they're playing one point dinky artifacts. You just 2-0 them. I, I win rounds in the second round by like 30 points against control Squirtle with this deck. It's insane. This deck is doing very well. Um, but yeah, main highlight, Geralt Erden. Very, very strong in this meta because... There's a lot of froth. There's a lot of froth in SK, and there's a lot of golden froth in Nilfgaard. Nilfgaard reveal with golden froth is pretty popular, too. All right, let's get into the game. How do you hide your name? What? Hide your name. Hey, you can hide your name? Really? No, you can't. How do you remove your name? That'd be awesome. I'd love that. Then people can't snipe. I mean, they could, but they would have to have the, sh the, the stream up before. The majority of people are people who are just playing and they queue into you and they're like, oh, I wonder if this guy's streaming. Which the answer is always yes, because, you know, who would who would play Gwen off stream? <laughs> That's funny. It's a funny joke, pumpkin. Um, And then I just open up the stream. Stop streaming without song requests? No, we do it at night, because there's a lot of people who dislike so song requests. Do you cook? Uh, does making a sandwich and making eggs and soup count as cooking? If the answer is yes, then yes, I do cook. If the answer is no, which it most likely is, then no, I do not cook. We have to get our one emote in. I don't know. Does that count as cooking? I wouldn't count it as cooking, but... You gained 300 viewers because of Gachi? Yeah, because the 800 people were already sleeping, so they couldn't leave. Can't leave when you're sleeping. That sounds very bad in the wrong context. Don't take it out of context, then. Song, I'll link it.
All right, here we go. Frothy, froth, froth, froth. And froth. Oh my gosh. Let's do it again. Who's gonna go for the 2 0? He literally has no win con. Oh wow, he drew Grimace too. It's pretty good. Doesn't matter though, it's not good enough. 